of the questions I get asked a lot is uh, what's one of the most useful casts that you can use when you're out saltwater fishing? And for me, I tell you what, it's always been a backhand cast. Backhand cast is one of the most useful and dynamic cast that you can use when you're in the salt, especially when you're using really big flies, big rods, 12 weight, something like that. Invariably, whenever you're trying to cast, the wind is never in the right place. The fish suddenly appears across your left hand shoulder um, and trying to pop a cast out quickly will either end up hooking your fishing companion or your guide, which is just like big no-no, you don't want to do that. So it, it is massively important to master something which can allow you to get at that fish without putting yourself or others in danger. And the backhand cast is one of the most simple casts that seems to mystify a lot of people. So I think what I'm going to do uh, while wandering around out here in the fields is I'm going to get a rod out and try and show you the easiest way of putting that one together. There's nothing, there's nothing particularly complicated about a backhand cast. Really it's just a forecast but in reverse. Um, there are some simple little techniques and useful little ploys that you can use to, uh, to make it more accurate to use your arm as a bit of a gun sight. Um, but the other thing I really like about it is the fact that when you put the rod butt in against your forearm, you can actually generate an enormous amount of power. So on your 11 and 12 weights, I can actually take a lot of the pressure off your wrist. And in some ways, it's actually, it's actually a more powerful cast than your forehand cast. So I think what I'm gonna to try to do today is to show you how I do it. Everybody has their own methods and everybody has their own techniques, but I'm going to show you how I do mine. So the rod that I'm using for this demonstration is uh, my nine foot nine weight Hardy Zephyrus uh, with the Fortuna 8000 XDS. This is my uh, standard go-to rod for most flat species if I'm not hunting GTs. So this is one of the two rods that I carry on the flats at any given time. So backhand casting is really just not that, not that complicated. And the first way that I tend to teach people to do it is to start with a forecast. So if we're just gonna do a very simple forecast, and then rather than releasing on the front cast, on the forecast, release on the back cast. So here we go, we're just gonna let go, and it's gonna go backwards. And look, it's just gone straight behind me. So do that again, I'm gonna pick it up, I'm gonna cast forwards, Casting forwards, okay, and at this point, I'm just gonna let go backwards and just drop the rod down. As if you were making a forecast, you always bring the rod back down to the water surface. So, forecast, forecast, and back cast. It's very simple. Forecast, forecast, forecast and then just let go backwards. Just drop that rod down behind you. Then what I tend to do is as you begin to start thinking about where you're going behind you, I'm gonna cast and start looking where you wanna put that fly behind you. So I want you to stand crossways on, casting the rod in front of your body now. So you're coming backwards and forwards in front of your body. And I'm gonna start picking a target out there in the field and when I come to wanting, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point down the rod, I'm gonna look down the rod line where my target is and lower the rod down onto the water surface. So if I do that again, I'm gonna pick it up into my forecast. I start, so I turn my body sideways. So I'm now pointing my right foot, because I'm a right-handed caster, in the direction that I want the fly to go. I'm gonna pick a target and then I'm going to do my last haul and release. What I tend to do is drop that rod butt here. It's going right in against my forearm, which actually allows me to really put some pressure on that tip. So as the line comes down, I can push, and then I can, with that last haul, I can put an enormous amount of pressure coming down on my forearm. So I'm casting, 
rod butt goes against my forearm and I'm bending the forearm out. Last haul and punch. And you can see that the amount of momentum that that created by pull it, trying to pull line off the reel. So one more time, I'm gonna punch it. I'm hauling, nice tight loop. And then on the last one, I'm gonna haul and use some proper momentum. And then as you put the rod out, it comes down, slowly drop back down. There's nothing mystical about a back cast, but it is one of the most useful casts in a fisherman's repertoire. Because if I'm pointing in this direction, and I'm trying to do a forecast and I've got the wind coming over my right shoulder. It's coming right across my body and it's going to push that fly as I bring it forward. It's going to push it across my body and into the back of my head. And yes, there is casts that you can use where you can tuck it over the side of the other shoulder. But actually when you're winging around a big 6.0 uh, GT brushy fly, you don't really want something like that too close to your body. So it's a much better idea to move from your forecast situation and just switch into a backhand because then it's safe for everybody it's all away from your body and then you can pick up some some hard momentum in that way and in truth it's probably one of the most useful casts i use on the flats and i've actually found now that i can cast probably almost further backhand than i can forehand because i'm using that rod butt tucked into my forearm which allows me to drive on the haul and really put pressure on that tip so I'm loading up the rod very, very fast from a loading position. I load and then I load and I let go. And I just point my rod at the direction that I want the fly to travel and punch down a nice tight loop. So if I pull that in one more time, swinging the rod across, nice tight loop. And the last one, and you can see with the momentum that I'm pushing that out. One of the other things I really do like about backhand casts is your ability to quickly switch from one direction to another. So, you know, there could be a fish traveling in this direction, coming in at my nine o'clock, suddenly I see a fish going in the other direction and I can just quickly switch from one to another. It allows you to make split second uh, choices of where the fly is gonna go without bringing that big heavy fly anywhere near you. So that's really it. Um, there's nothing complicated about it. The best thing I can suggest is that you find yourself a nice open field to practice in. Um, find yourself a target spot to aim at, maybe a plate or something like that, and just pop it out and just practice running the fly down the rod length as it comes in front of your body. It's a nice distance away from you, it's nice and safe, and you can just keep practicing, gently dropping it down so you don't end up with the line smashing into the water, which is pretty important. I see a lot of people who start their backhand casts and they're casting up and they're casting it and they load it and they slap it down into the water. Um, and it's a very common fault. So the best thing to do is to aim that fly maybe five, four or five feet above the water surface. And from that point, you can literally gently put it down like a dry fly. Well, I hope you found that, uh, that little video useful. Um, it is one of my favorite casts and uh, there's nothing mystical about it so I really hope that um, you'll give it a go and in the meantime I hope that uh, you will like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel thank you very much